Sup everyone, welcome to War 10. Um, almost at the end of the season now. We've come to face Salty. Um, this was a big war for us. Um, I've got a couple of good fights. Uh, we're going with Vox still. Symbiote Supreme makes a return for me. And I get to bring out Hulkling for a single fight as well, which will be fun. I never get to use him in war. So there we go. Let's get into it. Again, just taking my time, getting started, make sure everything's activated, relics and all that. And here we go. So we're going path 7 all the way except for Mantis. I probably could have taken Mantis as well, but we opted for someone else to go for it. And then we've got uh, Serpent on node 41, sorry 42, and also Future Ant-Man on node 49. So we start off with Darkhawk on node 16 against uh, my old friend Ahmad who was definitely one of my biggest fans at GGIR um, so it's always going to be fun to fun to take down one of his defenders uh, this Dark Hawk really doesn't do any anything at the best of times in uh, Alliance War as far as I'm concerned this node doesn't really do anything either I'm going to get armor break on him when I knock him down even though I'm not interested in knocking him down until I get to the special 2 which will also give me vigilance and I will miss and I will counter the miss as he goes invisible uh, I'm still ill as you can hear uh, one day I'll get better I'm not sure when at this point um, but yeah this uh, this fight's a really really quick nuke so I'm just gonna hang back let the DJs do their work um, I don't know why I didn't dash back from that special two but whatever anyway we move on to uh, section two where we've got Infamous Iron Man or Iron Doom, whatever you want to call him. Um, and again, we're going in with Vox. Made a slight slip up during this fight, which we will see. Um, in the meantime, I decided against the combat region. I didn't need to waste an invulnerability here. Um, again, this is going to be a nice easy fight. Bait his heavy and don't let him throw special ones. Unfortunately, uh, he parried me straight away uh, and then hits me very hard with it. That took a lot of health off, um, which was annoying. That's the last of the damage he's going to do against me, though. Unfortunately for him. So now we're just going to carry on, work our way to special two. It's safe to take on the block. It's not unblockable because he didn't throw a special one. I can't actually remember exactly how he works, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've had to worry about him. Heavy's very easy to avoid, unless you have a shock on you like I did at the start of the fight. Um, yeah. His regen attempt is pretty cute. Special one, and he's dead before I can finish it. So, moving on to the final fight of Path 7. We've got Chield here. This is who I brought Hulkling along for. Um... If I stay too close to her, she will get, um, I think it's fatigue debuffs on her. And once she cleanses three times, she'll get an unblockable passive, which isn't great. But also, she's really easy to avoid anyway. But I'm going to just play the fight, as I've seen many times, never done myself. Um, just keep my distance, go for intercepts, hit block a couple of times, back away. So that I'm not giving any of the debuffs time to, to settle in on her. She does get unblockable at one point, but it's fine. Um, as I said, she's very easy to avoid. What I don't want to do is hit block too many times and get my own unblockable before I'm ready to throw special two. I guess if I did, it's not the end of the world, as I'll just go for another one. Uh, special one also takes several years, so I can just stand back and, and wait it out. Got lucky with an intercept there. Wait out the special one, and now we're ready to fire on special two. Wanted to get a few more hits in first. So that's going to hit her pretty hard. I did consider throwing another second one while I was unblockable, but I didn't want to push her to special two. I'm enjoying the fact that I'm going to end this fight on a full yellow bar. Um, and that is game. Nice and easy. It was pretty good fun. And now we can move on to the second half of the war, where we've got Serpent. Um, 
we had this across all three BGs today and it proved pretty tough for people. Um, so I was just, I, I made sure to have a WAGS pre-fight as well, just for a bit of extra firepower. Um, ideally, we'd like to use Mordo hit Synergy for this. Even more ideally, on retrospect after this fight, as we'll see, especially while he's unduped, I'd have probably preferred to take um, Werewolf with me. But uh, this is fine. I'm just going to... I've hit him a couple of times. There's no hazard. Also applying the weakness from Resonate. Um, get a stagger on. He is going to throw special into my block. I'm just waiting for my three bars. And then my 100 genetic charges. Which seem to take an absolute eternity to set in. Longer than usual maybe. So now we get the knockdown to remove protection. And we can throw our first special three which is going to start our cycle. Um, there's a lot to keep an eye on this fight. Um, he's also got power efficiency, um, and he gets stagger immunity, which isn't really the end of the world for me, as apart from the first one, I don't really rely on them too much. Big special two to power still. Managed to get another one in before my blessing will expire. Relic to allow me for a knockdown, and I can throw another special three. I should have waited though, because I didn't have a hundred charges, but it's okay, this still does plenty of damage. And I think it's just gonna mean less uptime on my blessings. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It, Simbit Supreme's exact mechanics still confuse me a little. I probably shouldn't admit that, but there you go. Um, Another big special too to keep him in check. I am really pleased with how the fight's going. Another special three for me without my genetics up and ready. But we are approaching the end of the fight. Always good to get punched in the face there. now we're at a difficult point where protection's going to be back and I don't have as anywhere near as much power as I'd like. No point throwing a special 2 here as it's not going to power still. So I've just got to keep the weight on. That hurt but not too worried, I know that the end is near. This is far, far from the smoothest serpent fight I've had to, I've had to take all season and last. Um, but it's okay. I, uh, I felt pretty good about keeping, keeping it under control here. Unfortunately, that special two was gimped by protection, but the power still did its job. So I'm grateful for that. But the knockdown into special three is enough to almost finish the fight where I can chuck my relic and finish him off with a big 25k crit. So moving on to our final fight, once again uh, to Ahmad. GG's by the way, um, I know he took a couple of my defenders as well. Um, yeah, gotta love a bit of healthy rivalry at this level. No point using power back boosts here, just the 12% cosmic, as I'm only gonna be using special ones. Um, Again, the aim of the game here is going to be dex a few times. I did actually practice trying to punish his heavy with my own heavy before this fight this time. It doesn't work, so I didn't attempt it. But the few dexes are going to give me enough buffs to place multiple degens on. And that's going to start cooking him and allow me my first scythe passage. Passive, rather, sorry. Get a few big hits in myself in the meantime. He's being quite passive here. I'm waiting for him to throw special one. Um, all the while, I'm starting to tick down with brute force degen, which is fine. I knew that I knew that, that I was going to have him very, very dead before it becomes a concern. But yeah, he is taking his sweet time here. Also, I've lost my scythe passives. 
Special one gets that back for me, this time with 11 degens. And that's gonna do most of the job. I can't actually remember, I think I throw another one. And that will be that, and that's the end of my war. Nice clean fight for me, and unfortunately we had a loss here. We didn't do great as a battle group. Um, frustratingly, Salty tried to give us a gift here, really sold a few fights, and on another day we would have beat them. But it is what it is. We go into the final two fights of the season soon, which I'll see you then for. Take care, bye!